On October 11, 2023, Jim Cramer praised Walgreens' new CEO Tim Wentworth pick when it was trading at 23 a share. He said, This guy is the real deal. I just salute him and think he can take you to a higher price and the stock should be bought, perhaps aggressively. Fast forward to now the stock is now trading in the mid-teens. Did you fall for his call cause Kramer recommended it? A blue chip name company that has been in existence for over 100 years is now in a downward spiral. How did a company as large as Walgreens fail to properly vet Theranos? Former Walgreens CFO Wade Mikalon described how Theranos wooed him. Walgreens was ordered to pay $44 million to settle Theranos fraud claims. Walgreens is a complete woke disaster. Stathis has advised his investors to back off from Walgreens when it hits the mid-20s. The affirmative action Brewer CEO received a $9 million severance and remain as a special advisor through February 2024 that will pay her a monthly consulting fee of $375,000, Walgreens said. She got paid handsomely from a company that she had helped destroy. She sat at the company for three years while the company went into a death spiral. A quick look at Walgreens financials, terrible margins and a $34 billion in debt. Don't get lured in by the dividends. Walgreens may not exist in 10 years if they don't get their acts together. If you don't have a competitive advantage, you will never beat the market indexes. Stathis's research and insights offer retail investors a priceless competitive advantage. Keep listening to the con men and idiots in the financial media and on YouTube. You will keep losing money and miss out on tremendous gains. Stathis is given the nickname, the King of NVIDIA, for his spectacular call to buy and hold NVIDIA back in 2009 when it was in the teens and when the media clowns don't even know about it until years later. Click the link below to learn about Stathis's track record.